Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to install PHP Server Monitor on Debian 11.3. PHP Server Monitor is an open source web based monitoring tool that reviews whether your website's services and servers are up. It comes with a web interface where you can control your service and websites. Also, you can manage users for each server or service with a mobile number and email addresses. Today we are going to see how to install PHP Server Monitor on Debian 11.3. So first I will check the OS version. I am using Debian version 11. Next now I am going to update the system packages by using following commands. After update the system packages, now install the Apache web server and MariaDB database server. After install the Apache and MariaDB server, next install the PHP dependency prerequisites modules. Next install the PHP. The PHP version are 7.4 or 5.3.7 or 8.0 anyone. Now I am install the PHP module. The PHP install for the 7.4.30. Next, now I am going to start the MariaDB database server by using systemctl command. Enable the MariaDB database server by using system serial command. After enable the MariaDB server, next start the Apache web server. Now I am going to log into the database server by using following commands. Enter the root password. Now create the database for the PHP server monitor installation. The database name is Linux Help. Next grant is the permission for the new user for the PHP server. Enter the database name. Enter the username. At localhost. Identified by enter the password. After grant the all privileges, next flush the privileges. Then exit from the database. Next configure the PHP server monitor. So go to the Apache root directory and download the latest version for the PHP server monitor package.
and download the PHP Server Monitor package. After download the PHP Server Monitor package, now extract the download file. After extracting the file, now rename the file name. Next step, you can update the time soon for the PHP init file. So open the PHP init file. PHP any and to search the date dot time zone. Now I am change the time zone. After editing the date and time zone, then save and exit. Next, create a config.php in the PHP server directory. PHP directory and config.php sample. So you can edit the database username, database password, and database name. user1 next add the database password next add the database name after edit the file then save and exit now i am change the ownership of the directory Enter the directory location. And finally, restart the Apache web server by using systemctl command. Next, configure the firewall configuration. Configure the firewall to allow the HTTP traffic so that we can access the PHP server monitor from the external machine. So, add the rule from the HTTP in firewall. Allow HTTP access. The firewall rule has been added in HTTP access. Finally, go to the browser and browse the IP address enter the IP address enter the PHP directory now open the PHP server monitor welcome dashboard page next go to let's go so enter the username password and email address username and enter the password and enter the mail address and go to install please check for the any error of the installation there is no error so next go to the monitor to access to the php server monitor login with the username and password
then login. This is the PHP server monitor dashboard page. We will now monitor the server. So go to the servers and add the new servers to enter the label domain IP address and monitoring and send the email address and send the SMS details. Now I am going to create the label. Enter the domain IP address. Select the type service and select the port number HTTPS443 and warning threshold is 1. Next go to the users and save. Now add the new PHP server monitor. So next go to the update. So you can also get the history of the latency and uptime information by the clicking any services. So this is the graphical view for the your PHP server monitor. So this is the step you can follow for the how to install and configure the PHP server monitor on Debian version 11.3 has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.